Sorry. Don't worry about it. Morning, Gary. All psyched and ready for the day ahead? Death. Five o'clock yet? There's a limit. This is right. Hey, Claudia. Hey. How's the head? Oh, no. Is it five o'clock yet? down on the walkway pretending to be Superman. Some Chinese family walking by were expressing some concern for you. I have a vague recollection of using the full shot glass in your hand as assurance that you weren't dead. Dead? Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay guys, I know it's Friday but we need to maximise our effort. Our figures are down from last week. Downstairs, they're just kicking us all over the floor. <sighs> Big surprise. It's not only for making excuses and negativity, Jeff. You have to stay positive. Nice catch, by the way. I want to see the same kind of commitment with your next caller. All we need is three and four success rates to get us back on top. We just have to bring our, the client around to our way of thinking. Well, so much for the customer is always right. Oh no no no! Calm down, okay. Calm down. There's always there's always you know there's always someone you can you can talk to about these types of things. I mean, family. There must be some sort of obviously father and mother, friends. You know, someone best friend. You know, no. Okay, Philip. Philip. That's obviously means a lot. You know for a fact that they won't even notice if you're not there. Go on, take a few more. Make them feel guilty. They left the bottles out to test it. You heard them talk about it last week. They don't think you're serious, but you know you're serious. Hey, Cloda, I really, really like your sales technique. Maybe you should get pissed on a Thursday night more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me, are, are you Neil? I was told to ask for... Yes, yes, I'm Neil. Uh, okay, um, well, my name is Amy oh, and... Of course, Amy! Welcome! Hey, everybody, we have a newbie in town. Amy, this is everyone. Everyone, this is Amy. Amy arrived just last week and she was selected for induction to our little family just yesterday. So I want you all to make her feel really welcome. And she just so happens she has a special connection with one of us, Jessica! I can't think of anyone better than Jessica to help train you in and pass on her excellent skills of persuasion. So did you hear they tapped one of the lines upstairs for a laugh? Yeah, I was listening to it last week. It's hilarious. They're practically doing our job for us these days. Should we deserve the break? Come on, we'll have another listen. It's great for picking up tips. Okay, I'm sorry if I just only sit in here 24 7 listening to these moaners and whiners who the only plus part in their life is the fact that they've gotten away with owing their flatmate 247 rows of bar grill. Give me a break, Jess. See, what I don't understand is if the great and wonderful Jessica here saved your life, how'd you wind up in this dump? Hmm? 
I tried to save a girl that jumped into Liffey last week. I managed to get her out, but... But, well, I guess I swallowed too much water. So you died preventing an attempted suicide and wound up here? Nothing wrong with a sense of humour from the man upstairs, that's for sure. I guess they figured I was suitably qualified for the position. Here we go. Wait a minute, if you rang this girl a few months ago, that means you're ready to kill yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Why? My best mate killed herself about six months ago. I didn't cope too well with it. She slid her wrist when she found out her boyfriend was sleeping around. She was always so damn... Sorry. So stupidly impulsive. She figured the guilt he'd suffer as a result of her attempted suicide was a fitting punishment for him disrespecting her. They're only going out a few weeks. He didn't even get a chance to earn enough respect to disrespect her. Clodagh. It was four weeks. Four weeks is plenty of time to merit disrespect. How stupid can she be? Uh, what? He was such an asshole. What the hell was I even thinking? Oh no. What are you gonna do? Come on. We're going on a little field trip. Look, we can't use the lifts beyond the ground floor. Our access won't allow. There are other ways beyond the ground floor aside from the lifts. not just agreed to hang out at the weekends or something. She's my best mate. We're supposed to be together. She's not supposed to be up here. Yeah, well, you won't have trouble getting in up there and coming out with crap like that. Careful, Simon. You're about kicked the head away from ending up in the after afterlife. How many floors is it? 112. So, Amy, there are no tricks of the trade yet. Uh, She'll be on the dialer in no time. We're just familiarising her with the client information system. Great work, guys. Gary, get on it. Go team. So, um, does this information system contain the files of all the people who end up working here? Officially, no. Unofficially, Grandmaster in command over there only had two friends before he came here. And one was his mum. But what if she doesn't want to? You heard her. She tried to kill herself because I left her behind. And if I hadn't been for a stupid bitch upstairs, she'd be here anyway. We're gonna get in so much trouble. We ended up in hell. Go figure. You never know what it might turn into. Amy, you just need a bit of support. I'm over here, here Amy. Chloe? What the? Come here. What are you doing in there? What? You don't belong up here. You're supposed to be downstairs with me. But I put me here. I'm not supposed to be downstairs. And, well, more to the point, I don't see why I'd want to. Trust me. If the two minutes we've spent up here is anything to go by, you don't want to be here. You want to be with us. Yeah, Amy, well, maybe it's what's going on? Yeah. Trust me, this is the shit option. We wouldn't be having this conversation if you hadn't interfered. It's my job to interfere. Yeah, well, going by the charts on the wall, you're not doing a really good job. Uh, Jess, what's going on? Hey. Hey. Jess, what? Gary, me, Clodagh. Amy's suicidal best mate, who's here, and I quote, to save her from the evils of heaven. The girl whose boyfriend disrespected her, yeah? The girl who slit her wrists and condemned herself to a life in hell. <laughs> I'm beginning to see the attraction already. Gary! Come on. <laughs> How'd you guys even know she was down here, anyway? Oh, we've got a phone tap downstairs. We can listen in any time. Guess the conscience up here is too clean to return the compliment, yeah? Yeah, well, it's just one of the money perks of being bad. Bear with me a minute, I'll be right back. Here we go. You're actually going to help them kidnap her? Oh, consider the trial run. Stay tuned to that phone tap. If it gets any worse up here, I might be bringing the call myself. <laughs>